I've got slippers on my feet, protecting my little blind girl toesy woesies. I've got a green juice in hand. I've had some nitro cold brew. I am amping myself up because emotionally, I don't know if I'm ready for this, okay? <coughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build a beautiful online presence and grow your brand. And better yet, you can use code Molly Burke to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. This is gonna be the closet organization declutter to end all closet organization declutters. I have not seen my clothes in a year. This time a year ago, I was packing all my clothes up and we were getting ready to put them in storage in the new year. Then when we got back from Palm Springs, mid-January, we just finished it all up and put it into storage. So I have not worn these clothes since November, early December of last year. We just finally got them out of storage. I was expecting to be without my clothes for six weeks. So I had hardly any clothes. The clothes I did have was mostly Palm Springs stuff, which was not good for winter, mostly like sweatpants and hoodies. So throughout this past year, I've ended up having to unfortunately buy a lot of new stuff, but what I, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> so what's ended up happening is over the course of this past year, I've ended up having to buy a bunch of new stuff, which is really frustrating because I had a bunch of clothes and shoes and stuff that I loved. I just didn't have access to it. But what I did was I only bought what I needed. And guess what? I had very few clothes compared to the amount that I had in storage and I didn't hardly miss anything. And that taught me a lot. I am getting ready to purge a ton of stuff. I found a women's shelter that I want to give to. It's perfect timing for the holiday season. Get some women, some beautiful new clothes that they can feel good about going into the new year. Uh, I have some friends that I know will appreciate some things that it's the same size as me or similar size to me. And I'm also gonna put aside a pile of things I wanna bring back to Los Angeles. Most of these clothes were bought when I lived in LA. Um, and so most of them are honestly more LA appropriate than here. So I will be bringing a bunch of those things there. Um, Cause as you guys know, I live 50, 50 um, in BC and LA, very different weather. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. I am well aware that shoes and jackets are my kryptonite. Those are my thing, okay? Like I've always loved shoes and jackets more than anything. So I think I'm actually maybe even gonna do a separate video just doing shoes and jackets. And this video will be everything else. I'm also gonna be doing a video um, going through all of my beauty products that I haven't seen in a year and decluttering that and doing the same thing, giving a bunch away. Thanks for yawning. I appreciate <laughs> very your morning. excitement. <laughs> Elton's at least excited. Yeah. Oh, not to it's like, yay. He was like, let's begin. You gonna help mom? Okay, this is like, if you think this this is not even. This is nothing. This is nothing. No. This is nothing. No. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna go with the box over there first. I'm gonna plop it on my bed. So I'm gonna have piles. I'm gonna have my um, pile for friends, pile for women's shelter, pile for LA. I'll get all this set up on the bed. You go around and show them the other the other piles we, we're working with here, Nave. Okay, guys. Be prepared to be shocked. Okay. So here's more bags. More bags of clothes. Okay, I would like to just state for the record that number one, I do, of course, you cannot be making that sound this entire <laughs> video. I will give you another toy that does not make such an irritating crinkle noise. Um, I do, of course, very kindly get gifted a lot of... Elton. <laughs> um, I do, of course, get gifted a lot of clothes, which I'm very grateful for, but it means I do have to move in and out things more frequently. Um, and also, things look bigger when they're not folded. Okay, all these things have just been crammed into bags. God, this stuff's gonna be so wrinkled. We're gonna have to, need to do a lot of washes after stuff's been laying in storage in bags for a year. But it all looks bigger when it's not folded. That said, I do have a ridiculous amount of clothes, which is why we're doing this, and I hope to never have this many clothes and have to do this again in my life. I have learned a lot. I have changed a lot in this past year. And, and this, this is this the test. This horrible. It's great. <laughs> Well, I'm able to lie down. <laughs> this is going to be a long day, Neve. I've pepped myself up for this and now you're sleepy? Come on. It's okay. I'm, I'm waking up. Take a few sips of my Irish cream cold brew. My consumption over this past year has changed so much. I'm so proud of myself. Like The way I consume, why I consume uh, has changed a lot. My personal style has changed a lot. So I think a lot of this isn't even going to suit my personal style anymore. Um, though this Molly Burke merch always will. Check it out.
last minute Christmas gift idea, anyone? Look at how cute this color is. I think this is my favorite color I've ever done. Yeah. And look, it has the doll cat logo on the back. Lovely. Okay, I'm done. My personal style has changed a lot, but also the industry has. I think the banishing of the Instagram photo has been so relieving. Yes. Because I'll admit that like a lot of us consumed outfits to wear for Instagram. I admit it, I did that. Because absolutely, and this speaks to like an, a greater issue of society period, like if you posted photos in the outfits that you wore frequently, people wouldn't engage with it. People would only engage with your photo if you were always wearing new things. And I'm not just saying that, like literally I have the proof. The, the, the statistics prove that to be true. Like when I look at my analytics, that was the case. People only engaged when you were constantly wearing new outfits. And I think it caused a lot of us content creators who were posting Instagram photos to constantly feel the need to consume in order to get engagement, which is how like our job is measured. Our job is measured by our engagement and that's just the reality. Um, and so I think the relief of not having to do Instagram photos all the time and always turning out new looks um, it's enormous. Is amazing because now I don't consume as much because I don't feel like I have to. If I wear the same stuff in YouTube videos or TikToks, people still engage. But if I wear the same things in photos, nobody cared because they'd seen it. It was boring. And so, yeah, I'm just honestly like relieved. I'm not going to lie. Like this will still be hard for me because I definitely have a tendency to just hold on to things. And I'm sure there is some deep rooted reason for that. Hoarding. I, I hoard clothes. Clothes specifically, I hoard. And beauty products, and I think it probably goes back to like when I couldn't afford to buy these things. Yep. And now that I could, I want to keep them. I know that there are some women out there who are struggling right now so much more than I am and will benefit so much from me doing this. And I'm thinking of them when I'm clearing this stuff out. I'm not thinking of me, the money I spent, the wear that I got for it, the memories I have in it. I am thinking in this closet clear out of all of the women who are going to wear these clothes so much more than I ever will, who need them so much more than I do. And that is who I'm going to be keeping in mind this entire time. More bags. And this is the bathtub with filled with clothes. Not going to lie to you guys, I'm killing it. I am flying through this thing and I feel like I'm doing a great job. I'm just going with gut instinct, picking it up, boom. What is my first thought? I do have like one maybe pile where I just have no first thoughts and I'm like, okay, I'll deal with that later. But I'm doing like the initial run through where it's just like, what are my thoughts? LA, donate, here, and then if I don't know, maybe. So I'm feeling really good about it. I've also learned something about myself over this last year. I've been reflecting. I think like most people, these past three years have been pretty rough. In particular, honestly, this year, like it's like the year of rebuilding and it's been very hard for my family and I, I'm gonna talk about it soon. Um, I feel like we're turning it around. We're getting to the, to the, to the end of the misery, hopefully. But I have a tendency to hold on to items or want to hold on to items that I purchased in the window of 23 to 25. And that's because to date, those were the best years of my life. 23 to 25, it's an, it wasn't an easy time, but it was a magical time. It was, it's my favorite time of my life. I moved to LA. My career took off. I was doing what I loved. I was meeting all these people that I looked up to for years. I was getting all these amazing opportunities. Like my dreams were coming true. And there's nothing like the first time in your life when your dreams start to come true. Things that you worked towards your whole life, that you dreamed of your whole life. And all of a sudden, the reality, they're actually happening. And it's magical. And I was able to fully, finally feel like I was able to start fresh in LA, be myself, leave my story behind, leave my trauma behind, and just like become me, become an adult. And it was just the best period of my life. And I know it's not gonna be the best period of my life forever, but to date, it's the best period of my life. Cause right after I turned 26, lockdown happened. And up till now it's been a mess. I have a tendency to wanna hold on to those things because of the positive memories. Will I wear them again? Do they fit? Are they my style? None of that seems to matter. I'm like, but the mem I like, I want to, I wanna be that girl again. I want to live those experiences again. I want that high of the first time I achieved my dreams to happen again. I want that feeling, but it's not going to come back. Those years are done and I have the memories and it's wonderful and I can donate the clothes and maybe somebody at that woman's shelter who's at a really low point in their life is going to 
get that peace that served me so well, that are this is filled with so many good vibes and so much good luck and joy that I lived in those clothes. And it's going to help them get to the next level in their life and break through to the next positive turning point in their life. And that's what I'm thinking about right now. And of course, if I have any negative memories of it, like the item I was wearing when my ex-boyfriend told me he loved me for the first time, I'm getting rid of it because guess what? Every time I wear it, I'm gonna think about that negative thing and I don't want that. So those are some of my tips for you. I think the reality is for the past few years, I've been struggling a lot with my mental health and I know a lot of you have as well. And I think that I've thought that if I wear the clothes that I wore when I was my happiest self, I would be that girl still. I would get to be that girl again. And the reality is I was happy wearing those clothes because I was being myself. And I've been struggling to figure out in this chaos of these last few years where everybody's lives have been flipped upside down, who am I now? And this last year where I had none of these things, I had no physical belongings, or very few. I was super displaced. I didn't really have a home for a lot of this year. I was in transition. I couldn't use my old happy self as a crutch and those physical things. I had to, I had to actually grow and figure out who the hell I am now after the chaos of these last few years in my life. Growth is so hard. It's one of the most painful experiences you go through, change and growth, but I'm coming to the other end and I'm realizing that like, I don't need these physical things to be that happy person. I just need to be myself and I need to lean into the pain of growth and get to the other side and I'm gonna be such a better person for it and I'm already seeing better habits form from that growth. I hope in any way that concept maybe helps you and going into the new year I think is such a great time to clean out whether it's physical things in your life like your closet or your skincare or your kitchen or just clear out the dust bunnies internally, um, setting new goals for the new year, having a fresh start and I am so excited to go into this new year with a fresh start. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have done so well. It's after two in the afternoon. I started, I wanna say around 10, 30 or 11. We took a little brief doggy walk with Elton, but I have been doing so well. One note to make is that half of the bags in the bathroom were actually my mom's clothes. <laughs> so that I thought, oh, I don't have all these crazy amount of clothes, which I really don't, but then yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, I've got to sort them out. Um, and I was like, oh, you got beautiful clothes. This is gonna be hard for you. Also, something I wanted to mention is if you are donating specifically to a shelter as opposed to somewhere like just a generic thrift store, make sure you know what they need. They always have lists of things that they need and things that they will not take. So please make sure you're bringing things that they need and can use because if you're donating things that they can't use, it's just a waste of their time because now they have to sort through, the staff at the shelter have to sort through all of that. So I'm separating my things. This is a box of all items that are new with tags, a lot of which happen to be on their list. Also reading their list has helped me be more ruthless. There are things that I feel like I maybe would have kept, but I'm like, no, they said they urgently need pants. I'm giving them these pants. <laughs> so I feel like it's given me an even better focus knowing what they need. Um, so this is all new with tags which can be great for Christmas gifts because they're looking for Christmas gifts, new with tags items. And there's tons of things in here that they need like socks, gloves, hats, underwear, bras, a bunch of stuff new with tags, uh, toothpaste, deodorant, toothbrushes. And in my next video, I'm gonna be going through uh, my beauty products. So then I'm gonna have even more hair care products, skincare products, makeup, uh, of course, all unused, sealed, and not expired um, for obvious reasons. Also, something I love that they wrote on their website, all of this is donation, by the way. I'm gonna go through and fold, like, fold it all nicely and not just shove it in a bag like it's been sitting for a year. Uh, and also make sure that it all smells fresh and clean and whatnot. But something that I love that they said on their website is make sure the items you're donating are something that you would like to receive. And I think that it's really easy 
to be like, well, beggars can't be choosers. And we see it a lot with disabled people, right? Um, we see people trying to discount us, not pay us our worth, not give us opportunities or act like we're simply lucky to get the opportunity and to demand anything further um, is egregious because we're lucky to have that opportunity as disabled people. And I think it's oftentimes the same for women or just people in need in general. Um, we think, oh, well, they're just lucky to be getting my donations, period. But the reality is just because somebody is in need doesn't mean they don't deserve to have dignity and just because somebody is in need doesn't mean they don't deserve the opportunity to dress well because dressing well like makes you feel good dressing well allows you to get more opportunities being able to walk into a job interview dressed well clean with makeup on or presentable however you feel comfortable um is what's going to allow people to get out of these situations so i just wanted to share that in the hopes that maybe it will inspire some of you because i feel like oftentimes i just donate to local thrift shops but actually having a specific place that i know i'm donating to and knowing what they need has been super inspiring for me today how are you doing there i need the second suitcase that one's full <laughs> i filled an entire suitcase with donations for the women's shelter and i mean filled and I folded all of it nicely and I categorized it so like the stack of denim, the stack of knits, the stack of hoodies, the stack of pants. So I have, I have to fill another suitcase. They don't take suitcase donations, like donations of suitcases, but I'm hoping they'll take it because it's a suitcase filled with donations. Like I, it's the only way I can transfer it, you know what I'm saying? Whilst cleaning out, I just found these hoodies from Jacqueline City Apparel, which is a small disabled owned clothing line that I thought some of you guys would like. So this one says fight for inclusion and this one says disability is not a dirty word, so. Okay, it's been about a week and I wanna show you what I've done. Much to my parents' chagrin, I have plenty of extra space for more shopping adventures in the future. That's how much I got rid of, okay. I thought you were really trying to cut back. Okay, so there's plenty of space for more shoes and handbags in here. Like, I can definitely cram way more in. Mm. I have two entire empty drawers. Two entire empty drawers. And the ones that are full, like, still have space. Except this one. This one is pretty... She's snug. Oh, she's snug. All my sweaters. But they fit so perfectly. And that's all of my knit sweaters. And then I have... So much space if I wanted to. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. It's so exciting. It whoops. An empty hanger has gone broke. Um, this is like comfy sets. Sorry if you can hear Elton John like aggressively drinking water over there. And then in here, the section's pretty, pretty full. This is like dressy and pants. And I'm feeling, and like this space up there still, like on the shelves. Oh yeah, it's just, are you feeling organized? I'm feeling organized and I'm feeling really good about myself. We have dropped off all of the goodies to two different shelters. We did like a teen shelter and a women's shelter and they were so appreciative. So highly recommend seeking out local shelters in your area over just sending them to any old thrift store. I've set my piece on that. I'm very pleased and I'm feeling good and I know exactly what I have. I love everything I have. It's all going to be worn regularly. Nothing's going to waste. And that feels really good. Almost as good as having a beautiful website to display your business. You can use Squarespace to create your own custom website using their templates. You guys already know my website, mollybrookofficial.com, is a Squarespace website and has been for a very long time now. I've gone through a number of iterations of my design, but it has always been a beautiful Squarespace website based off of one of their templates that I then customize to my pleasure. Squarespace has tons of tools available to make your website both accessible and to build and grow your business. You can sell physical products or virtual products. You can have a blog with commenting features. You have access to marketing tools and analytics and so much more. So you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready, you can use code mollyberg to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. I broke a nail. I'm falling asleep without having brushed my teeth whilst still in my clothing. It was a long day. But by God, I did it. 
What time are you awake up? Well, Elton woke me at 5.30 and I told him, shh. And then he woke me at 6.30 and I stayed awake. So. Uh, yeah, it's a long, 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 For long, Molly long Burke, day. it's a very long day. And it's been so many long days. One after another. You're seeing all these videos days apart. All of these videos have been back to back to back every day, every single day. We are simultaneously moving, filming, and then in the evenings, I review the edits so we can keep up with these three postings a week. These are not pre-filmed very far in advance. This is like happening in real time almost. So yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's a lot. And all the work. I, I'm moving. Yeah, I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna like... One thing I noticed today is overall, majority of the things I kept were like very, you know, high quality pieces. Free People, Aritzia, Madewell, Lululemon, just like high quality brands. Um, and majority of the pieces that I ended up moving out were like Zara, American Eagle, Hollister, lower quality. Still great pieces, still great quality. H&M, uh, but more so like what you would consider fast fashion that come at more affordable prices. And I think that says a lot. And I think that's going to help me, like recognizing that pattern is going to help me in the future with purchasing, like reminding myself, are you and gonna end up really keeping that long term or not um and at least if you go into your purchasing aware of those things your habits i think it can really help change future consumption habits just a little interesting tidbit that i noticed so we've got lots of videos ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see how i organize my closet because i'm starting from scratch with a blank state oh my god i can't even talk with a blank slate and i could show you like how i design and choose where to put things in my closet if that would be of interest to you little blind girl organization hacks let me know and until next time you can click over here to see my animals meeting for the first time or over here for another one of my closet cleanouts okay i'm going to bed bye Hi, good night